Today we are talking about the rules for cavern and cenote diving. So about the equipment, we are not allowed to bring knives, gloves, snorkels. All your equipment has to be close to the body uh, and we are not allowed to touch anything or do graffitis on the sand. Each guide is allowed to bring a maximum of four divers. Uh, we are diving in a straight line formation and the distance between each diver should be no farther than two meters. Uh, as we are in an overhead environment, we have a rule of thirds. This means we have to split the tank in three parts and use 1000 PSI to go, to go 1000 PSI to come back and we uh, should end with at least 1000 PSI. We are always um, allowed to see the entrance. We are following a guideline which is attached at the ground and it's a reference, a visual reference for the divers. As soon as we don't see the guideline, we have to turn around or finish the dive. In any cenote or cavern, it's very important we have an horizontal position trying to lift the fins if we can do a frog kick, that would be the ideal. And, well, uh, basically the horizontal position to avoid messing the ground. All the time we have enough space for two divers going together. Uh, we are not going through any restriction. And in some entrances to the cave we have stop signals. We are not allowed to pass after the stop signals. This cenote has a very big open area and the cavern line is quite far from where we jump in. I will need to put uh, my own safety reel to connect to the cave line. So I will do the first attachment in the open area, second attachment at so so 5 meters close to the entrance of the cavern and then I will connect to the uh, guideline, to the main line we are going to follow. 